Welcome to Go On Shot TV. I'm Doug Roxburgh, and today we're at the Fort McMurray Fire Department because we have an update on Bo Cooper. Bo has brought this community together with well wishes and outpouring support. That's why we're speaking with Rob Van Heck, a family friend, to give us an update on where Bo's at. So on today's episode, we're going to show Bo's story. We're also going to go to Edmonton for Winterfest because that is a spectacular event in Edmonton. Also, if you're driving to Edmonton, please do not text and drive because the consequences are dire. Back at the Fort McMurray Fire Department with Rob Van Heck, family friend of the Cooper family and fundraising has taken over this community for Bo Cooper. The support has been there tremendously, hasn't it, Rob? It's been phenomenal. Uh, we couldn't have asked for anything more. We knew we had a huge mountain to climb when we started this campaign and the, the communities come together so substantially so phenomenally like we couldn't have asked for anything more i've never seen a community come together like fort mcmurray has for Bo, and the support has been just overwhelming the fundraising on GoFundMe itself has raised over a couple of hundred thousand dollars and then you had the uh, charity hockey games as well where is fundraising total so far Total today, we're sitting around $690,000. That's with everything, um, with the GoFundMe, all the events that we've had, cash in hand right now. Um, I, yeah, and, and like you had said, you know, haven't seen a community come together. I didn't know exactly what to expect. I knew we had a huge mountain to climb, um, but to see the outpouring, the, the fact that people have almost taken this personally, you know, the messages that we get on Facebook, the comments that we're getting, um, so many of these people have, have made this a personal task that they really want to see the, the success so um, we can't thank the community enough we're absolutely you know Rob had mentioned it at one time before thank you almost just doesn't seem enough and and there are no words to express the gratitude uh, on behalf of the Coopers and you know the Fort McMurray Fire Department the family here for the Coopers we're just so thankful it's it's phenomenal and you can't thank everyone enough and there's still more mountains that need to be climbed. We're going to find a little bit more of an update on Bo a little later on in our show. Okay, Rob? How Absolutely. does that sound? In the meantime, let's share Bo's story. Back at the Fort McMurray Fire Department with Rob Van Heck. And Rob, the outpouring support for Bo has been phenomenal. I mean, you're actually wearing a shirt in support of Bo. If you just want to turn around for the sure. camera here. So explain this shirt here for us. We did the shirt up uh, after Bo um, was diagnosed for the second time actually and uh, we thought it was a good message it was something that we wanted to share just to you know in invoke some some um, I guess positivity towards the battle that he was going through and and we were happy that he had had beat cancer for a second time and you know it was kind of in the spirit of some of the things that Bo likes to do he you know he's into the MMA and you know he had been successful at one of his fights before his second diagnosis and we just thought this was a real fitting shirt well, let's have an update on Bo. Obviously, he's in Maryland and he's been there since December 18th, right? Yes. So uh, he was brought down December 18th um, and he's been undergoing extensive testing, basically just to ensure that his health is where it needs to be so that he can endure the CAR T-cell uh, therapy. Um, uh, last week, we heard the news that they were happy with all the test results that they had been doing, and he's been uh, partially accepted into the program. Where we're at right now is uh, they're culturing his T cells, and they're watching in the lab to ensure that they're growing appropriately so that they can um, manufacture them uh, for the CAR T cell therapy to put them back in so that they become basically cancer assassins. Is, is, what they're, is what they're engineering them for. So we're just waiting to hear on this acceptance. And we might actually have an update a little later on in the show if he does get accepted. If he doesn't, what are the options? Well, if he does get accepted, obviously that's, that's the road to recovery. He'll have the T-cells put in and, and that's the program that we're really hopeful uh, that he gets into. If not, uh, there is the possibility that they will try to take the T-cells out again um, and, and see if they can um, have them grow a second time. If not, then we're going to be in a position where we're possibly looking for him to go to another center and try to gain acceptance for a different testing protocol, still for the CAR T cell. So we're all hoping for Bo. Absolutely. Today, we're hoping is the day that we get the best news ever. Let's hope this community does get an early New Year's gift for Bo Cooper. Also, with a New Year's gift in Edmonton, they're celebrating Winterfest. Let's have a look at all the excitement. 
Well, that wraps up another edition of Go On Shot TV. Of course, if you still want to donate to Bo Cooper, you can go to his GoFundMe page. Also, there are a number of events happening around town where you can also show your support for Bo. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on what the doctors are going to say for his CAR T cell therapy in Maryland, and we'll have an update for you a little later on in Shaw. It could be this week, it could be next week. Please stay tuned. I'm Doug Roxburgh, and we'll see you, well, when we see you.